Dogs are shooting people? What? Hello, everybody. It's Joe Ditzel. We're back. I'm back. You're back. We're all back for another vlog. Come with me on this bike ride as I head north through town. I'm going to cut through the Ohio State campus here. And during our time together, let me share you this crazy story about dogs shooting people. But first of all, how are you doing? I hope things are good in your world. Listen to this crazy story in the past few years, about once a year, in America, a dog shoots its owner. For example, in Indiana a few years ago, a lady came back from hunting, put down a loaded shotgun on the ground with the safety off. The dog steps on the gun, pressing the trigger shooting a shotgun blast into the lady's foot. In New Zealand, a guy was jumping into the front seat of his four-wheel drive. The dog jumped into the back seat where, that's right, there was a loaded rifle. Dog steps on the trigger. The gun goes off, shoots a bullet through the driver's seat into the guy's buttocks, which he described at the time as extreme pain. Yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on? Well, of course, experts say that uh, most of these uh, situations are accidents. Couldn't it be? Isn't there a possibility that some of these dogs just see an opportunity to get back at their crazy owners? Like, for example, have you ever been walking your dog outside, maybe along the sidewalk in the neighborhood, and you don't give them a chance to sniff the ground. They like to stop. You know, it's so slow walking your dog when they stop every six feet to sniff the ground. You know, investigating a small 12 by 12 inch area for five minutes. What are they doing? What kind of information are they gathering with this sniffing? But of course, that's how a dog explores its world. It's not through his eyes. It's not through his ears. Those are all factor, but mostly through his nose. His sense of smell is a million times stronger than yours. But do you take the time to let him do his thing and look around his neighborhood through his nose? No. You got to yank on his collar, yank on the leash. Why? Because you got to get home for Game of Thrones. His poor dog is trying to enjoy the walk and the way they do it is by sniffing every square inch for four or five or ten blocks <laughs> it's gonna take some time but you don't have time you're a busy person so you yank on the collar you yank on the leash because you got to get back because walking dead is starting now if you're the dog that's gonna aggravate you day after day, week after week, month after month, yank on the collar. And I'm just saying maybe some of these dogs are sending a message. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying it's happening. I'm saying it's a possibility. And so my advice to you is treat your dog right. Don't dress him up as a bumblebee at the parade. Give him a chance to sniff the ground as he goes on the walk. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh my, oh, you might be late for Game of Thrones. Don't you record those shows? Can't you just watch it later? I'm just saying, keep an eye peeled on your dog. You don't know what they're thinking. They never. I've never had a dog share their feelings with me. I've never had a dog vocalize what they were thinking. So be careful out there, gun owners, because your dog might just be waiting for the right opportunity. Folks, that's all I have for now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.